Right, in New Town this morning. Uh, it's Sunday the 26th or 27th of Mar March, yeah. So I just thought I'd come for a wander around, see what's uh, occurring. Another little bit of news. Uh, uh, more new places uh, have closed down, a bit like these. Um, we're going to have a look in a second. I think we've lost another two, two shops this week. Uh, yeah, Sunday morning. How quiet. Let's go for a walk across here. Bit rainy, very rainy. So, uh, oh, oh, it's not even open. Oh well. Just in case I can't get back here in time, the shoe shop uh, in the precinct stands far in there. 30 years that business been going, now it's gone. So uh, yeah, that's definitely closed down this week. So that's another one gone. So, there we go. Places like these, they open. Got the money for these. Little shops, crockery crap, as I would call it. Got the time. Yeah, they got the cleaners out on a s Sunday morning cleaning all the litter. Look at him, hey? Council workers on a Sunday morning. Wow. I don't think I've noticed that before. And I just thought I'd bring you down here. Show you another place that's gone. Oh, better. I don't know. It looks better close up, doesn't it? So, yeah, so here we go. Another one. The pizza parlour. You know, another one gone. There well, we go, that's two places in one week. Uh, what does it say here? Anything. No, we haven't put a notice up saying why. But yeah, so there we go, the pizza parlour. Another place gone. So there you go. How many more is it going to take? This is all happening so quick. It's such a short time. Yeah. So there you go. Another one for the books. But like you say, you just got Domino's pizzas. I mean, yeah, they're, these big places, McDonald's and everybody else, are all taking over. All the little shops can't afford to keep going. You know, it's shocking. So I thought on that note, I would uh, just sort of come and show you the shoe shop, gone, pizza place gone. What else is gonna be gone? What's next on the firing line? Yeah, scary, ain't it? it? Really is. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I've got always the way. Right, I'm back in a second, don't want to keep walking around with everything. Back in a tick. Yeah, another one I mentioned, um, forgot to mention a while back, is that we also lost uh, Motor World. You know, another uh, long standing, long standing place for your car parts, which was quite handy in the town. Um, but there's been a problem there as well now that's closed and they want to turn it into another shop fronts and flats but because the shopping uh, the order the planning order the building would be higher than most other buildings in this area so now they've uh, rejected the plans and uh, Gonna file for new ones, but as you can see, 
what's the point in having something massive? Look at the state of it. I mean, the Clapperado building needs changing, yeah. But they wanted to build a building bigger than that place out across the road. Or as high as that across the road. So if you look at it, they get empty space. So yeah, so when you look at it, it uh yeah that's that's not very high but if you think of the building over there that high it will be an eyesore especially next to that building so yeah so that's another thing that's uh planning orders turned out at the moment more wasted money all these planning orders cost money but don't use the money in proper ways instead of going too big and keeping it simple no so it's time back to the drawing board. And another new change this week is the post office. This new town post office. Yep, yeah, never seen it. Well, everybody has a new town. Yep. Yeah. That's the back end of it. Go and get your parcels. And um, yeah, it's not moving. There's lots of rumours going around. It's going to go to the spa, close it all down, but uh, no, it's not moving, it's staying. So uh, yeah, I think he finishes this week, I can't remember the Indian guy, uh, had enough, many years doing it, times are changing, not making much money doing it anymore. Um, so yeah, I think it's a bloke from Trigun and already does a post office. He's taking it over. So, uh, yeah, just get a wide angle shot. So yeah, so uh, somebody else is going to be running it now. So not to worry, those people have been scaremongering and saying it's going to close. It's all, uh, it's all in hand. I just thought I'd show you that. Um, I'm just gonna have a quick look at what else I'm gonna show you. Back in a tick. Yeah, um, just thought about this as well. So I'm just thinking about like a bit of scenery while we're walking up. Is that, uh, can't believe it again, we're not having a carnival this year. And what a poor excuse. There's money in the pot. Don't know if you're a church in the distance. Uh, there's money in the pot. And uh, money in the pot, but they've taken the make house. They've got no uh, volunteers. Well, why have they got no volunteers? Because they don't ask. I bet there's plenty of people that would volunteer. It's uh, we're a small town, aren't we? We all get together and do crap. But uh, I ain't seen anything. Nobody's come approached us anywhere around here asking would we volunteer to do the carnival. Just another paid excuse. They don't want the hassle. You know, it's uh, a shame, you know. Kids enjoy it. Where's all the fun? All the other towns doing it. Oh my God, look at this. Wow, have you seen what I'm seeing? Wow, it's not going to take much to fall off. Wow, what is that not looking forward? That could tip over. Whoa, car coming down this road. Hey, look at that. Where's that been left? Shocking. Look at that. Action waiting to happen. One push of that in front of a car at night time not going to see that on the road and cause a problem wow so yeah the carnival yeah i was just thinking you know why don't people uh why don't people want to do stuff anymore? it's always an excuse they don't go out and ask people for stuff i just think to myself just don't want to spend money. Uh, 
Huh. Motorbike place has been uh, painted. Not sign on the front anymore either. So yeah, another place that's uh, looking a bit different. Motorbikes must be selling pretty good. be on a Sunday morning if you're already out doing it. David Jones motorcycle. Yeah. So anyway, I'll cut this bit off and uh, get on to the next thing. Which I'm trying to think is what I'm supposed to do next. Um, oh yeah there is, yeah there is. Why am I walking up this way? Yeah there is, yeah. Oh I like this bit. Yeah. Oh Burger King. Hey, it's uh, still here. It never seems to be busy to me. When I pass in all the time, it always seems to be empty. Yeah, I quite like the council. Make my day. Like the railing down the road there, sticking out. Sure, we need to sort out. So it's ASAP. If anybody wants to contact the councillors and tell them. You've seen that because every time I send an email, they don't want to know. I'm a pain in the ass. So they will ignore anything I send. So I never get a reply. So for health and safety measure, please tell somebody about it. We had a few crashes here a while back. And uh, notice they were fixing the, the crash barriers. <laughs> quite funny they come and fix those and they just leave that there that's quite exciting why even bother that's gonna blow off in a few weeks snapped and blown off never do a full job do they so yeah and they've also fixed the one across the road so yeah so yeah, so half a job done again. Taking them ages to do it. There you go. Anyway, back in a bit. Let's see what else is occurring. Who wants to live in a bungalow like that? <laughs> Can't see the point of them. They're all like mini cells, aren't they? Right, back in the jiffy. Oh yeah, another one that's closed. I forgot to mention. Is there? Uh, has been here that long, but I think it's a couple of years. So, is uh, health loaded? Another little place. Was quite busy, but again, prices are going up. Small business like these, another one. You think even the healthy ones would still stay open? People like to be healthy, and but no, another one. Health loaded, eh? Yeah, I forgot about this one. You can see it's. Uh, Nice little place. Look at the woodwork and the detail that's gone in with that. Yeah, so yeah, another one. That's three. So there you go. What a shame. Yeah, all nicely kitted out that place. Why? Because the electric most probably. Can't afford to pay the electric bills. So there you go. Health loaded. Another one, boysy boy. Wow, it's getting smaller. It really is. You know, so yeah. Onwards to the next thing. Just thought I'd show that off as well. Back in the tibby. Something you don't usually see. It's our little tea rooms place. I don't know whether that's open anymore. But these are old, aren't they? Just thought I'd show you that bit. Especially the little house on the end. Tiny. Rickety old little place, isn't it? Who lives in a house like that? It's empty, so it's up to sell. So there's a lot of work doing to that. I bet there's a lot of orders on that, so you can't change anything. Quite nice. There you go, just thought I'd just show you that while I was here. Right. Another thing that's been altered this week. I remember I did a video on this about 
untidy this corner was he put a lot of work into it about four years three four years ago i don't know when and uh i did a video on it and uh wow some things are getting changed did i did i hit a raw point did somebody think like me the place needs to be tidy and they've gone and put all this nice wooden blocks around the trees I can't remember what they look like before. Was it just round and gravel, wasn't it? Oh, so long ago. Time goes so quick. But yeah, looks good. Once they got all the uh, footprints out of it, <laughs> as you can see, somebody's uh, been walking through it, as always somebody does, like cement, I suppose. But uh, yeah, look at that. Looks good. Wow, a little bit of a uh, little bit of. Uh, a little bit to brighten it up how much better does that look seats look clean and tidy as well there's a birdie there picking out a few uh, leaves for his nest most probably plopping the pace up Again. or as he's saying he's a bit untidy and he gets them leaves out of the way <laughs> there he goes and hopefully by coming the summer yeah this place will look damn good Nice bit of greenery, look a bit more inviting. Definitely looks 100% better, 100%. I must say, that's, to me, that's progress. Just the little things that make a difference. A bit of wood, hey? Bit of an idea. And it's working. Want people to visit, don't want to come and see a slum. Anyway, just thought, well, did you hear that for you? There you go. The old lot in there. There you go, looks good. Right, on to the next thing. Right. Yeah, so. <coughs> Came down before, another shutters were down. So, yeah, so another shop um, closed down is um, definitely going now, is the. Uh, the shoe shop in the precinct here again and uh, yeah he's gone it's closed down oh. yeah shoes for the soul another business 30 years 30 years on and uh yeah it's closed down another place gone so yeah another one gone the only place surviving is the cafes yeah she's the soul so that's it another 30 year business down the swanee how long before these other ones go new look yeah they're going online wonder how long before uh, this gets uh, gets the cut oh, we've got a sale on them so that just gives you signs that things are not selling anyway on that note that will be rings for today and uh, until next time thanks for watching please subscribe and uh, the next one bye bye for now